Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. On the last run we played as the Mantis, not Mantis, I keep saying Mantis when I don't mean it. I mean Slug Cruiser Type A. We unlocked the Rock Cruiser Type A. So we're going to play as this ship on this run. I don't like this ship, kind of more so than any other ship, because you are very, very limited by your ammunition. We start with an Artemis missile launcher, which for one power does two damage, and a hull missile launcher for two power it does two damage, but that damage can be upped to four if you target a systemless room. So really, the Artemis is used to disable a ship, the hull missile is used to kill the ship, and you have to kill ships very quickly. The hull missile launcher, you target a systemless room that does four damage, Artemis does two, that means if a, uh, if if an enemy ship has 6 HP, you can kill it with 2 missiles. If it has up to 10, you can kill it with 3 missiles, but you have to use the hull missile twice. It's a very interesting ship. Uh, the layout is relatively open. You, your crew can get around relatively quickly. The rock crew members are very slow at moving. The biggest problem is the O2 and door system is so far away from, from the med bay that if you lose power to your oxygen system and you run out of oxygen on your ship, you're dead unless you have a level two med bay. There's a lot of a uh, lot of little issues like that on this ship that make it kind of tricky to play with. Our achievements are: Is it warm in here? Have your crew kill a burning enemy on their ship while using the rock cruiser. This is actually extremely difficult to uh, to get because you have to kill a non rock crew member, I think, on board the enemy ship when they're on fire. But they'll leave a room that's on fire if it's on fire and you're in there killing them. So it's very hard to actually get this achievement. You have to have a fire weapon, first of all. You have to have a teleporter. And you have to be in a very particular situation where you can kill an enemy. It, it's hard to do. Defense drones don't do anything. While using the rock cruiser, destroy an enemy ship which has a defense drone using only missiles. It's actually not that hard to do. There is an augment that is the defense scrambler augment that prevents enemy defense drones from shooting down missiles. And then you can just kill an enemy ship normally. If you don't have that augment, you just have to fire your missiles at the same time, because it can only, one defense drone can only shoot down one missile, as long as it's not a defense drone Mark II, but even still, might only be able to shoot down one missile at a time. Ancestry, find the secret sector with the rock cruiser. This is actually extremely difficult, unless you have the C-type layout of this ship, because the C-type layout starts with a crystal crew member. And that is pretty much two thirds of the process for getting the secret sector. So, you know, once you have the, um, once you have the C type layout of the ship, you can just do a few runs and you'll probably get it. Uh, we're gonna start. We also have the rock plating augment, which if I go to the ship, Look at that real quickly. Uh, every time we get hit, we have a 15% chance to negate hull damage. Very useful for uh, keeping ourselves alive a little bit longer, but it's it's not the best, you know. So we got to keep the hull missile and Artemis missiles online ASAP all the damn time. We have 28 missiles, which is enough for maybe 10 ships. We will attack this ship. This ship has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. HP, which means we could kill it if we had a, an, a hull, not a hull, an empty room that we could target with the hull missile launcher, but we don't. So they hacked our piloting. We're going to have a very low dodge chance. We're going to have to go pretty much on their weapon system with the hull missile and the Artemis missile launcher. Wow. Wow. We actually dodged both of their shots, which is ridiculously lucky. Hull missile launcher on their piloting system. Now they have zero dodge chance. Go on their engines. This ship does a lot of damage very quickly if you can get the missiles charged, but hull missile launcher takes a long time to charge. And if you miss, it's just you don't do any damage. You have a very limited supply of missiles. It's kind of hard to uh, survive for very long with the ship. We do have sector scans now, so we can actually take a look at what's around us, I can plot a course that d takes us to the most beacons. And I'm definitely going to do that, I think. Even if there's combat, you know, we need to get into combat to kill things. 
uh, we'll attack this ship because they have a hull. Uh, they have a systemless room where I can use the hull missile launcher, so we're going to definitely do that. Uh, one Artemis on the weapons to take their weapons offline, hull missile launcher to, to do four damage, two hits is eight damage, plus the two damage with the Artemis, they have nine HP, that's ten damage, we can kill them with three missiles. Now they might do damage to us, and indeed they took the hull missile offline, but very quickly, I'm going to swap the, uh, the Artemis and the hull missile around so that the hull missile launcher can keep being charged. Their weapons should not be able to really uh, damage us all any much anymore. They're going to get one of their weapons online in a second. Good, we hit, we breached. They're going to repair the breach, um, but hopefully we can land another home missile launcher to uh, take them out. We don't know what their crew is doing. I don't know if they're actually trying to repair this at all because it's still not repaired. But. Second home missile hit and killed them. Three missiles for one kill and we got two missiles back. That's like ideal, pretty much. We took one point of damage, that's not bad. Uh, this actually blows. This really blows. We have to use hull Artemis and hull, missile hull missiles to punch through their super shield and they don't even have a systemless room that we can attack. And if they dodge missiles, that's just a wasted missile. This is going to be a pain in the ass to do. Yeah, we're getting hit. Uh, hull missile launcher is offline. Honestly, who cares? Because it's just another missile launcher at this point, basically. Uh, I will try to take out their missile launcher, though, and they hit our weapon system again. That only took out... Ah, don't... You know what, you can destroy my weapons because it's only taking out the hull missile launcher. I'm fine with that. Open the doors to keep the oxygen flowing. They're going to surrender. I'm going to... I'm gonna... Here's the thing, if I take it, I have to use two missiles to kill them, and they're giving me two missiles, so I think I'm just going to accept. It sucks that I am accepting their offer, but there's really... I think that's the best course of action here. Let's get everything repaired, it's gonna take a minute. That, that was a bad situation, you know. The Zoltan Super Shield really does counter my missile strategy very heavily because I can't pierce through the, miss the Super Shields. There is no, nothing that I can do that can get through a Super Shield. If I had an Ion weapon, that would be very useful. If I had any weapon, that would be very useful, but I don't. A singular Ion weapon actually doesn't do all that much for me in piercing through the shields of any other ship, but at least Ion weapons do do double damage against super shields, so it is a very useful way of punching through. Keep going to this distress beacon and then we'll come back around and hit the exit. I should have upgraded my ship a little bit, I had 36 scrap. Second level med bay is usually what I like to get. They don't have a defense drone and they only have beams, I think? Which is good. Very good. This means that they can't deal any damage to me. There's nothing to dodge. They have 9 HP, which means that two hull missile missiles doesn't even do the job. What we're going to have to do is do, do like an Artemis, then hull missile launcher. So let's do Artemis on the piloting system, see if we can take their dodge chance down. Hull missile launcher on the empty room, does double damage, and now one hull missile will kill them if it lands. And if it misses, we're just going to shoot another hull missile launcher. They are repairing, I think they do have a repair drone, yep. Repair drone, move back into the drone system. So they have a dodge chance now, hopefully, yeah, it missed. Hopefully it didn't miss, is what I was going to say. Uh, we're just gonna have to shoot at them again, and if they dodge again, we're just gonna have to shoot at them again, so... We can kill the ship very easily, we just need one shot to land. They can't damage us at all. There we go. And we really do need to get another weapon. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe I just hold off on spending my scrap, go to the store and buy a whole bunch of weapons. Like we're actually doing quite all right right now. We're running low on missiles. We've already used 12, I think. Uh, this ship can damage us. You know, the laser shot hits our shields. The shields don't come back online until the, uh, the beam hits. I am hoping though that we can shoot and take down their weapon system before they have t a chance to do too much damage to us. And Artemis can sneak in right now. Good, and their weapons are both offline. So we're not going to take any more damage on this encounter. I'm not going to shoot my missiles until they cloak again. I don't want to miss. I'm going to shoot on um, their piloting system with the Artemis and then the home missile launcher anywhere because that, 
you know, four damage will kill them. They don't have a systemless room. Take their dodge chance down if it lands. It missed, so we shoot the hole in. Piloting system is down. Artemis can come in. Artemis can shoot before they get the cloak recharged, so... It landed, good. So it took one extra missile because we missed. We didn't pick up any missiles, so that's just four missiles. Not down the drain, but, you know, done. Go down the surface, bring him back in the hopes of finding help. We lost a crew member, it happens. If I had the second level med bay, we actually could have uh, sa um, saved that crew member and gotten a new crew member. Every I did that on the, an earlier run too. I didn't upgrade the med bay immediately and we lost a crew member. Gotta, 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 always, always get the second level med bay. Every time I, I try not doing it, it always comes back to bite me in the ass. So they have a single laser plus a stun. The single laser hitting our shield doesn't matter. The stun hitting the medbay doesn't matter. As long as I keep my shields down when the ion hits, we're fine. But I think the ion and the laser shoot in the same sequence anyways. Now they did ionize our shield system, which does suck. But if we get hit for one point of damage, I'm not going to... Uh, use an Artemis to hit their weapon system. I'm just going to use whole missiles to hit their empty room. And actually, they can't damage us at all because their weapons don't charge fast enough. My shields come back before the laser shoots, so this is perfectly fine. If they hit my, uh, if they hit my weapons with the ion, we would have actually lost the whole missile, unless I had the whole missile launcher on the left position in the weapon bar. So I should definitely do that whenever I need the whole missiles. We get some extra hull points repaired, which is nice. At this point, I'm not getting the second level med bay because kind of like, why not, Why would I do it? We've already missed our opportunity to do that. So we're just going to go all out with hull missile launcher. This is a little bit of a bigger pain in the ass than the last ship because their ions can charge and take down my shields for an extended period of time. However, I can always micromanage my shield power to hopefully dodge the ions. We will accept their offer to take a crew member and we will jump before the ions hit because there's no reason not to, I guess. He'll walk slowly into the uh, the weapons room and we'll dodge his ions. We will, <sighs> God, I'm gonna reject their offer. I don't like having to do this because we're going to just use a whole bunch of missiles to kill these guys. At least five, which means that we only have three missile launch missiles at the end of this fight if all of our weapons hit. And their ion weapon uh, will be able to take down my shields before their laser has a chance to, uh, to hit us, so I am going to have to micromanage my shield power. One more Artemis, and then the hull missile launcher can go out on their systemless room. Good, micromanaging the power is working. They're trying to escape. We can we can get off one more hull missile before they leave, but if the hull missile misses, they're going to get out. I think the hull missile is gonna miss. They're gonna get out. Oh, come on, come on. I even have a guy in the weapons room. I guess I could have shot once at their piloting system with the Artemis, but I wanted to save my missiles. Oh, and we don't even have... Uh, we don't even have any weapons here. So I think we just have to get a crew teleporter. There's, there's no way around it. I have to be able to do something to actually kill ships without using missiles. I think this is it. Weapon pre-igniter, of course, would be amazing. I actually can purchase it, but I only have three missiles, so what's the point, you know? Zoltan shield bypass plus a crew teleporter would be amazing. Drone recovery arm plus a drone control system would be amazing. Backup battery is always a good purchase to get. This is actually a very awesome store. Unfortunately, I have jack shit. So we're gonna have to do a crew teleporter and we're gonna have Rockmen do boarding for us. And this is going to be how we do this run. Pretty much with the rock ship and the sector one, you have to come up with some way of using something other than missiles. Unless you get, wep you know, an explosives replicator is very nice, uh, you know, but this is, this is, 
Not the best. Not the best. Rock control is probably a good idea. We could go to the civilian sector, maybe pick up some free equipment early on, and then go all red sectors to the end. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need some time to do some easy encounters, build up some scrap, get the med bay upgrade, get the shields upgraded, maybe get some missile defense, and then just use um, what we pick up on the later sectors. So it's just probably going to be a couple of slugs. Depower the weapons, power up the teleporter, and we will board an NG and a Mantis. Easy encounter, as long as there's no other crew members, we will probably get hit by at least one weapon here, because their weapons fire at the same time, two lasers. But we have one miss, which is great. So let's get my crew members swapped around so that the uh, Mantis doesn't, doesn't kill my rock man. They're gonna get another shot off. Nothing I can do about it. But we also got another miss on that in that uh, fire, which is awesome. Six field, 22 scrap. And hey, best part, we didn't use any missiles. Imagine that. It's gonna take forever to get these guys healed up. They have 150 HP. Rock people are very good boarders. You know, the extra 50 HP means that if you go up against a slug, a human, a, uh, you know, an NG, you're going to win. The only thing you have to worry about is other rock people who have 150 HP and mantises who do more combat damage. But if we can get our crew members trained up, maybe we'll be uh, able to take on mantises one-on-one. -on -one. Can't go to the store with 29 scrap. We can't buy anything, so let's just keep jumping. I don't need any repairing, so that beacon is worthless. I will reject their offer once again, and they are not going to board me, so I am going to board them in the engine room, get as much time as possible attacking one of their crew members. Two humans is an easy kill. They do have two lasers, one of which is a hull laser, I believe, which does double damage against a systemless room, but they uh, didn't you know, fire their weapons at the same time or whatever. As long as our shields can come back online before the laser hits. Nah, it didn't. Our shields are actually on fire. We can kill the crew though, their crew is dead. Get my crew my, my crew back, we can get the uh, shield room repaired. A little bit scary, but we managed to make it work. Get my crew healed up while the shields are on fire. Might as well let them heal up to full, then get their butts in there to help with the repairs. Rock people, you know, they're average speed repairers. The only uh, the only races that have modifiers to their repair speed are NGs, which repair faster, and Mantises, which repair slower. So, rock people, they repair at the same rate that everyone else does, but they seem like they repair slower because they take a long time to actually walk to the room. Beacon, beacon, nebula, probably. We don't have any, I oh, know we do have sensors. I don't, for some reason I thought we didn't. Uh, this is very dangerous, but I think we can win this encounter. They do have a missile launcher. I kind of actually want to use one missile launcher to take out their weapons. They have an NG and a human, but they probably still have other crew members. With the asteroids, I do want to disable their weapons if I can. Good, their weapons are disabled. They're gonna have people repairing the weapon system probably, unless they had a crew member in there who is now wounded. They're going to have to deal with me as invaders. They're not going to get their weapons back online, and I think that was very good use of one missile. I might as well keep the uh, teleporter powered up so that it comes back off of cooldown faster. I'm going to have to get these guys healed up so it doesn't really matter that the power isn't available for the uh, med bay. I can just depower a weapon. And you know what? We're, we're turning it around. We really are. We are getting uh, crew kills on enemy ships, which means we're getting more scrap rewards. We already have 74 scrap in the second sector. We can get the second level med bay, a shield upgrade. So let's start working on that now. Uh, I do think that the med bay is more important than the second, than the, uh, the first, I should say, bar of, uh, extra bar of shields. Um, I just wish I bought it earlier before I lost that crew member. Would have been nice. You can't win them all, though. So one more encounter should give me enough uh, mercenary work. Yes. 
Severely damaging their ship will pay you as long as you don't kill them all. So I can't kill them. I have to let them like give a surrender offer basically. So I am going to have to actually use missiles. I only have three. I hack the door system, which sucks, but it's not that bad. Um, we're just gonna attack probably their weapon system, keep their weapons offline so they can't damage us all that much. They're gonna get a shot off, but. And hopefully we can do this in two missiles. If we can't, we just have to kill them and leave. So there's one missile, uh, one more missile, and then we just hope that we can kill them all. Okay, they are trying to surrender. We let them live. We get a chain burst laser. Thank Christ. We have a alternative weapon that we can use. It's a, it's a terrible weapon. It only shoots twice, but if we can't kill something with missiles, considering we're out of missiles, it gives us a good alternative solution. So let's jump into the nebula. Actually, let's get the uh, second shield level. We don't need to power it. We can always power it later if we uh, observe it that an enemy ship can damage us. Teleporter, we get another crew member. This is great. It's gonna be an engine personnel. I like being able to dodge a little bit more, get that dodge chance up as quickly as we can. One more nebula jump, and then we'll go to the distress beacon. One fuel for four missiles. Hell to the yes. Now we can actually use the Artemis, which is great because the Artemis is a very, 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 very good missile weapon. It only takes one power for two damage. That's pretty dang good. They refuse at first, but after another blast rocks their ship, they agree to beam aboard your ship. They say, thank you, but we really should return to our families. I'm sure we can muster up a reward if you take us home. They repair us by four. Well, you know, I would have liked another crew member, but that's okay. I don't blame you for wanting to go home. Uh, this is the human mining colony disease. We can use the rock crew member or the med bay to get a reward. Let's use the med bay. Three more missiles. Good stuff, good stuff. Mercenary ship, yes. Uh, incompetent captain, so we just have to go to a beacon and either uh, kill a ship or observe a station, which is, you know, one good, good reason why we have the med bay. Fend for ourselves, yes, because these guys are annoying as hell. They are going to try to board us, which is honestly just fine, because we now have the ability to block their weapon systems permanently. So I'm gonna let them board me. They're boarding me in the door room. Uh, I'm gonna send the human in there be to deal with him temporarily. And I'm gonna send Johnson into the engines and Notch into the uh, door system as well. I'm sending the human in there so that I can kind of just stop him from hurting our door system while I get my other rock person in there. I'm going to try to get a little bit of experience from dodging the laser shots. And I'm just gonna wait for them to try to board me again, because if they board me again, I might be able to kill them. One at a time. It looks like they are not trying to board me again, so once I get everybody healed up, we're gonna board them. With a second level teleporter, we have plenty of time to, um, we have plenty of time to uh, get the teleporter recharged. We don't need to really worry about our crew members dying as long as we don't teleport into a, um, a four person room. This should be a pretty, a relatively easy encounter. We can't take any da any damage to our hull if we keep our shields powered. I am letting the oxygen get a little low. I'm hoping that we can get a little bit more misses from the laser so that our crew can get leveled up a little bit faster. And even if they have one more human, I can kill them. Nope, we get a firebomb though. That's actually really good <laughs> for a couple of reasons. Not the least of which is, it's another weapon we can sell. But if we wanted to try to get the achievement, have your crew kill a burning enemy on a their ship while using the rock cruiser, this is how we do it. There is actually a very, 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 very situational way in which we can get this achievement super, super easily. And it is. Uh, some uh, of the small slug pirate ships have a uh, an engine room on the right side that is disconnected from the rest of the ship and has a crew member in it. If we launch a firebomb in there and then teleport into the room, we can kill the crew member, because it doesn't say last, it just says a burning enemy. Uh, we can get the achievement super, super, super easily, and I would definitely love to do that. 
Rock controlled or Mantis controlled? Honestly, Mantis controlled because we are heavily involved in, in invading. So why don't we just kind of push that advantage? We're invading. If the Mantises want to invade us, they can. Let's let them. Let's get the sensors upgraded so that we can see on board the enemy ship to decide if we want to actually board them or not. I think that is a very useful thing. And now that we're not using missiles, I actually do feel like selling five is okay. We're, it does put us very low on missiles, but we do have the chain laser, we do have a firebomb and Artemis, uh, the teleporter. Our crew members are immune to fire damage, so what we could do actually is I'm gonna let them board me and then board them so I can kill them before they uh, get away. But what we could do is um, launch over a firebomb, then teleport into the room, and then the enemies take damage we don't. So he's going to go into my door room. Um, I guess I gotta let him. They are sending both of their crew members in to deal with me, which means that they only have a Vulcan plus a bomb. Now the bomb is going to, to hit us, it missed, which is nice. Our crew members will kill their crew members. Our human is having a bit of a hard time killing this guy, but they will probably, yeah, bring him back in just a second. Wanna make sure my uh, human doesn't get hit by the bomb because that would kill him. So I'm just going to be very careful with my movement of him. Their human is gonna die in just a second and we will get out of this. We picked up another crew member. The ship refuses to fight we still detect the ship refuses to fight. It's a weird way of putting it. But you still detect life signatures. Apparently there was a prisoner on board. The single survivor offers to join your crew in exchange for their freedom. This is fantastic. This is wonderful. We get an, a mantis. Mantises are great at boarding. I kind of want to um, keep my mantis on board my ship though, because my rock crew members, because they have the same amount of health, I can focus on them as a as a more singular unit in my mind. I don't have to worry about independent health reductions or anything like that. Mantis is very good at attacking though, so maybe it would be useful to have, uh, maybe like Johnson can go on board and Emily can go on board and then we can keep Notch in the weapons room and Kapalka, the human, in the engines room. Maybe this would be a good way of doing it. And maybe if we can pick up another Mantis in the future, we can use two Mantises to board. Mantises as boarders are very useful but, you know, uh, rock people as boarders are also very useful. If I'm going to do this, though, I don't need a uh, an, a weapons personnel. I need a shield personnel. So maybe I'll put uh, Notch in the shield room so that he can keep us running. Let's get some extra power so I can have a second level teleporter and an Artemis running at the same time. Artemis, just a good weapon to have if I need it, you know? I kind of like the idea of having the rock crew members do uh, the boarding though. So let's let's switch them around again. Emily, if I can get another Mantis, I'd love to have you be a boarding squad. But for now, let's just keep the rock people together. They've been doing fine so far. It's the pirate ship. They are going to attack us. We are going to board them in their, I guess, piloting room. There's an NG there. He's going to be easy to kill. You know what, there is a reason to have the mantises do the boarding, because they kill the enemies faster. And killing the enemies faster might be very good for us. Um, I'm not gonna use a missile, it's not gonna land before their weapon fires, so we're just gonna let their weapon fire. We did get one miss, which is all we needed. I'm at full health. I don't need to use a missile. If I get hit for one point of damage, I get hit for one point of damage. I got hot. I got hit for one point of damage. That's fine. We should be able to kill their other crew member before the weapon fires again. Come on. There we go. So yeah, so thinking about it, having the Mantis do the invading is probably for the best. Johnson can be in the engine room, Kapalka can be in the shield room, and Notch can be the um, border for us. Why? Because Johnson already has experience on the engine, so let's keep him there. We'll see how this works out. Maybe we'll want to switch back to the rock people. I don't know. Uh, they're just going to be invading us. 
Whenever you have a sun and you are in the center of the screen, you know you're just going to have invaders to deal with. It's it's annoying. The question is just where are they going to go? The med bay? Yeah, that's perfect. Please, by all means, fight me in the med bay. And we're just going to wait. We will be able to get out of here. There's no enemy ship, so the FTL charge is like twice as fast, I think. Second level med bay is going to keep everyone pretty much at full health, so that we are going to be able to uh, board very quickly on the next encounter. They're all dead. Move power and jump. We dodged the flare because we were in FTL jump. There is nothing here. Unfortunate, but expected eventually. Uh, I might be able to go. I might be able to hit Beacon Distress Exit, which would be very nice. This is this is one of those encounters that's going to be a little bit difficult. However, we should be able to actually kill the crew. If I beam over, they're going to attack my crew. They're going to get into the med bay to heal, and I can just put an Artemis missile launcher right in the med bay and. Make their life a living hell. Mantis is going to be able to kill the human. Artemis is going to hit their med bay. They will have a pilot dodge chance because I put you know put my people into the uh, piloting room. But with their med bay offline, I can kill their crew. They did hit us once in the sensors room. We're going to probably lose the sensors. That's fine. They are going to get the med bay repaired, but I can always fire off another missile. And if I can kill the other human... Nope. We're going to have to use another missile, but that's fine. Uh, they actually shot down my missile. That sucks, and we can't kill them, so we're going to have to beam out. Uh, this is an interesting encounter. We actually have no more missiles either. How am I going to do this? I want to kill them, which means I think I'm just going to have to board with like four crew members like in their weapons room and try to take out their weapons because their their uh, lasers are going to do some heavy damage to us I have no missiles the chain laser is not going to do shit because they have uh, they have two bars of shields this was just a very bad encounter so you know what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to board with more people and then let get the uh, the chain lasers going so let's get the chain lasers powered up we're going to have to take the O2 levels very, very low. And that, that, that scares me. We're going to have to take our dodge chance very low, too. But the only way we can do this, I think, is if we just board them with everybody. We get, the, we get their shields down. Maybe take out their weapons a little bit. Oh, we're getting hit a lot. Our O2 system is on fire. We can, we can, we can, we can come back from this. We can come back from this. It's just going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, take their chain laser offline, please. Hit their med bay. Nope. Our weapons room is on fire. We might die here. You know, it's not the, the most unexpected thing to have happen. If I can take their weapons offline and get things repaired, it's going to be hard, though. Um, our ship is still on fire. How do I do this? How the hell do I do this? Can I even do this? I can do this. It's just going to be super freaking hard. What I want to do is I want to get the rock man right on this guy Oni so that he's taking the brunt of the attacks. Now Mantis and Rockman can now go after the... <sighs> shield room? Can I hang out in the shield room for a bit? We can take down the enemy shields. I need to get my weapons repaired, but I have no oxygen aboard my ship and I can't repair the oxygen until I get the uh, everyone back aboard so I can get them healed up. This is a, this is a, an, a dangerous, dangerous situation. We have very low oxygen. I need to get the med bay repaired ASAP. So let's do that. I can't kill their crew because they're just keeping everybody 
freaking healed up. So let's get the med bay repaired first of all. Let's get... What does it look like? Can, can I can I kill the human in here? I might be able to kill the human in here before they can get the um, him healed up with the mantis doing extra damage. It worked. Okay. Holy crap. Holy hell. That was scary. That was very scary. Now you might be thinking, hey, you're screwed. You have no oxygen aboard your ship. We're not screwed. We're fine. We can do this. It's going to be tricky, but we can definitely do this. Um, what we're going to do... I wish I could board them, their ship again. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get people back aboard, get them into the med bay and get them healed up. With a second level med bay, you can recover from this situation where you have no oxygen. Uh, it's just complaining because uh, Kapalka is getting healed up very slowly, but that's fine. Once I get people healed up, I can send them in one at a time to the oxygen room to get it repaired. Easy to do. You can do this. Wait until everyone gets up to full health. You need them to be at full health to do this. We're going to send Vincent over. And then we're going to watch his health. He left at 150. He's going to get there at... Uh, there's, an, there's a couple of ways you can actually help help out your crew members. By, putting Kapalka, by sending Kapalka in there, I can make Vincent's target room uh, closer. To the to the door so Vincent has 102 HP when he started work on the O2 system so I can let him heal or repair it for 50 before I have to send him back because then he will make it back to the med bay with two HP left so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send uh, Johnson into uh, the other rockman into the first position of the med bay and we're gonna have him we're gonna have Kapalka do it because I, I I messed up a bit, I think. I should have had him start walking as soon as Vincent made it to the target room. But we're gonna wait until he gets to about like 54 HP, that's fine. We're gonna send him back. Kapalka can finish the repairs. And then run him back to the med bay. And he should be able to make it in time. We now have an oxygen system. Vincent's gonna be fine. He's gonna make it with like six HP left. And look, we we did it. We have oxygen aboard our ship now. And get everyone back, get everybody healed up, and repairing stuff. We got a lot of stuff to repair. And, you know, that was close. We we took a lot of damage. I didn't even, like, look to see if we, uh... You know, uh, we didn't negate any of the damage, because we don't have the, um... Hull plating anymore. I sold it. I mean, I knew what I was doing when I sold it. It's not a very good piece of equipment. It sells for 40, and I think that's one of the reasons why you start with it and why it's so expensive, because it really helps you to um, be able to sell it, get some extra cash, buy an extra weapon or something. With 69 scrap, I do want to visit a store. We need either missiles or a weapon, because the chain laser can't punch through two bars of shields. We will uh, try to... Uh, get to the quest beacon with the, uh, the ship following us. We're gonna do that now. If we come across combat, we come across combat. They became a store. That's actually quite nice. And honestly, a defense drone kind of seems like a very awesome purchase. 85 scrap. We would have to sell something. We have stuff to sell, though. Probably gonna sell the whole missile launcher. It's not very good. With boarding, with a chain laser Artemis, I think we can do damage to an enemy ship to kill them or kill the crew. We don't need to kill the hull anymore. So let's sell that. I'd, I'd like to keep the firebomb. Maybe we can get the achievement. So let's buy one missile, <laughs> literally one missile, and let us buy the defense drone because being able to shoot down incoming hacks, incoming missiles, I think that's gonna be super worth it. It allows us to spend more time actually killing the enemy without worrying about the occasional missile coming in. So let's do that. Could buy a crew member, could buy another Mantis. I don't think that's necessary. I think we're fine with a Rockman Mantis. I'd rather spend on a system that's going to help us out a little bit more than one crew member that's only going to be like a side grade. Because upgrading from like a human to a Mantis would be big. 
going from a rock man to a mantis, that's kind of a side grade. You change, you exchange health for damage. Yes, more damage is better, but not by enough that I think it's worth spending 55 scrap on Vivimord. I mean, Vivimord is an awesome name, but I think it's more worthwhile to have a drone system. It gives us the uh, missile defense that we've been needing. Now, we don't have... Uh, we don't have laser defense. You know, if someone shoots at us with a multi-shot laser, we're going to run into some problems. But we can uh, defend ourselves against missiles, which is big. They are going to board us, and they have a med base. So we are going to board them as soon as they board us. They have no missiles. Only one laser, so I am going to take power away from the shield system, um, just because... I can, might as well put it in the laser system, maybe we'll need it. They're gonna board us in an empty room. I'm going to board them in the shield room. Maybe I do need some, some missiles because they are going to get into the med bay and heal themselves. So let's hit their shield system and then we will kill their crew. They're going into the shield room, so I'm gonna to have to send Rockman in to help uh, deal with the situation. And here I'm hoping that what we can do is take their shields down a little bit so I can hit them with the chain laser. I'm going to send people back into the med bay, get them healed up. We have some extra power. We can do that. They are just going to get people healed up. I can kill one of their crew members. We did kill the, the uh, NG. We are now attacking the shield system. I just need to take it down one bar. And we did take down their med bay. They now no longer have a med bay. Kapalka is healed up. Um, I'm going to send him back into the shield room. He's going to take a slight amount of damage from walking through the hallway, but that's fine. Uh, shouldn't have opened the door to the med bay. I accidentally did that. They are still repairing their... Uh, Medbay, I do need to take out their door system, though, because I can't really make a lot of progress. So I'm just going to wait for the chain laser one more time. Now I can move my crew members around. We're going to go into the uh, weapon room. Their bomb missed, which was the big thing. I didn't want to, you know, ionize my shields a whole bunch. They're going to be healed up pretty much. I am not healed up in the slightest. But, with their medbay being offline, I can hopefully deal a little bit of um, damage to their weapons. Good. They're putting out the fire, which means they're going to be wounded. They have a fire in their engine compartment. Their ship is in trouble. If they take one more point of hull damage, their ship might explode. So I'm actually going to flee temporarily. Try to let them deal with their problems, and then I'll swoop in and kill them in a minute when I can. Because they only have one HP left, and the fire is spreading throughout their ship. I don't want—I I, kind of don't want to beam over in case they take one more point of hull damage. So we're just going to kill them. You know, it—it it wasn't the best situation, but I think we did pretty well, though. Pretty well there, and we did get an augment. Shield Charge Booster is fantastic as an augment. I really like getting that augment. What it does is it makes your shields come back faster after they get hit by a laser or other such a weapon. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful against ships that have a lot of um, uh, uh, lasers that come out at you. We could delay the rebels. I am going to delay the rebels because we do have a couple of extra beacons we can go to before hitting up the exit. Why not try it? You know, up, down, exit, and then if we can hit the extra beacon and then the exit, let's do that. But this basically gives us a at least one, maybe two extra beacons. Maybe it wasn't the best, uh, you know, cost-effective thing we could have done there, but it's done. They do have a med bay again, two shields again. They do not have a teleporter, so we basically have all the time in the world. So let's keep... How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? We, we need to take out their med bay. I think we do that with a firebomb plus two rockmen. So let's send Emily into the engine room so that we have a better 
dodge chance. Now let's send Kapalka into the engine room and Emily into the weapons room so we have a better weapon charge chance, or charge rate, I should say. Well, wait a second. We will have to get the um, defense drone online, which is fine. Let's do that now. Block their missiles. We have missile defense now. This sh one defense drone should be enough. We're going to wait for the fire bomb to charge. We're going to drop it in their med bay, and then we are going to teleport into the med bay and prevent them from putting out the fire. This should be enough that we can kill the enemy crew, even the mantises. Two fires. We we uh, we board them. They are healing slowly, but the med bay is going to uh, be destroyed in a second. There it goes. Now they are taking fire damage, and they're taking normal damage. Now they're running. The other mantis is going to come in. He's not going to last very long with the two rockmen plus fire. And now all we have to do is uh, make them come to us to attack us. And we can do that by going into the oxygen room, I imagine, would be the best way of doing it. Mantis and NG come in and try to kill me. It's not going to be very good for them. Other Mantis is going to come and try to kill me, but he's just going to die in the fire. We get 31 scrap. Worked, that worked out quite well, and that's one reason why it's good to have uh, a firebomb with rock people and teleporter on this ship. That's why I was very excited about getting the firebomb, because we can deal with clone bays, uh, med bays. We can deal with that quite easily now. It does make rock people a little bit better than mantises for uh, your everyday combat, but ideally I would like to not use um, the missile parts if I can. So we're going to put Emily into the teleporter, and if we need to, we'll move Johnson in there to uh, replace Emily. Notch and Johnson could do very well with the firebomb when we need it. Good, 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 good. We can go to one more beacon and then the exit, so let's do that. Probably nothing. Ooh, a Mantis pod. Let us pry it open. We get a crew member, a rare survivor of Mantis captivity. Cuban is going to go into the weapons room. And now we have a nice setup where we have all the main primary important systems manned and a boarding, po a boarding party of two. It's good. It's very good. Inquire about their specialty oxygen system upgrade for 17 scrap. Sure. It's cheaper than doing it yourself. So that's the only reason really why I'm going to do it, but it's fine. Getting your systems upgraded to level 2 is a very good strategy. It helps to um, ice, uh, insulate you from a bad hit or from bad encounters. Like, I think now, if they try to, uh, they being like a slug ship, tries to hack our oxygen system, we can say, no, 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 we still have at least one bar of oxygen power. Now, we did get a repair burst weapon, which is garbage. Uh, we're going to sell that as soon as we find a store, and if we can get a little bit more scrap, maybe we can buy something. Good. This ship has no med bay, so there is no reason not to just board them immediately and kill them. They have a combat drone Mark II, which is going to be very annoying. It is going to probably take down our... Uh, our... Uh, shields enough that the beam can hit us with the other laser, but if we're lucky with the shield charge booster and the shields manned, maybe we can get out of this without any uh, hull damage. No, we did get hit for one on the shield system, which is actually terrible. Let's get the other human in there to get that repaired ASAP. Hopefully we can get it back online before the uh, weapons fire again. Nope. Ooh, beam is coming back online. Mantis is in trouble. We're just going to have him swap positions. Oh, we did it. We only took one point of damage from that encounter. That's not bad. And we picked up three fuel. The fuel is nice because we needed it. Let's get them healed up in the med bay. Uh, Cuban, you go into the weapons room. You're not going to have a very uh, important job until we actually get more power and non-missile ba based weapons. We keep getting missile based weapons, which is not very good for us. 87 scrap. Probably might want to get the shield upgrade, honestly. Like, we don't have weapon power to speak of, pretty much. Let's do Beacon Beacon, the Nebula, and then we'll swing around and hit up the exit. Maybe even Beacon 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 Nebula. 
Nah, we'll we'll do Beacon Beacon Nebula. Swing down and around, head up to the exit. Uh, we're probably gonna use the defense drone. They are gonna board us. They have no med bay and no clone bay. This is great for me. I'm gonna put my people in the med bay, wait for them to board me, see where I need to be. Shield room. Wait for my crew members to get in there and then we move in there. Should be an easy encounter, all things considered. We should be able to block their uh, weapons for the most part. The single shot plus double shot laser could pierce my shields and do damage, but the missile definitely no, hopefully. We did get one miss, that's all we needed, because now their weapons are out of sync. Their crew is now fully dead. Let's get everyone into the med bay. The rock men can actually just go over immediately while I get people healed up, I think. Uh, no, let's keep Johnson in the pilot or the engine room. Emily can go over with Notch, I think it is. Uh, let's depower the oxygen while we do this because we don't need the oxygen system upgraded or powered up right now. We have uh, plenty of people to send over and plenty of people on our side to. Um, what am I trying to say? We don't need the oxygen because we can just power it up to level two later. That's what I meant to say. So their weapons, they're not firing them in sync. We did actually manage to get another mantis, which is great. Mantises make great borders, and I like the fact that we have two mantises we can use for boarding now. So let's get everything powered up. Good to go. Uh, Notch, I think you are going to be the weapons personnel. Cuban is going to be doorman. And we're going to have Butters and Emily be our boarding squad. Two mantises is great. If I need the rock people to do boarding for, to like the to get the achievement, or if the ship is on fire or something, I can use the uh, the firebomb with them. But for now, this is fine. This is great, actually. This is pretty dang good. We almost have a full ship, too. Good. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're doing quite well, actually. We're not taking very much damage now that we have the defense drone up. Lasers are still a bit of a problem, but if I get a third bar of shields, then we can uh, we can f go up against ships that have burst laser mark twos and not worry about them damaging us. Now these guys do have a clone bay, which means that I'm probably going to board them immediately as soon as they board me and try to take out their clone bay ASAP. We are going to use a defense drone. They're boarding us. We are going to uh, let them board us and then send my crew members in pretty much immediately. We're going to kill them. Our mantises are going to kill the crew on board their ship. Get the defense as high as possible so that we can dodge a laser, hopefully. Now, we got hit for one point. That's fine. Now, our mantises should be able to kill their clone bay. Mantises, they're very fast at attacking. That's why it's very nice to have them. Let's get people back to their rooms. Uh, let's keep the dodge chance up, but I can do that by depowering the uh, the teleporter. Now that the clone bay is dead, we get 40 scrap plus 32 plus four fuel. Very nice, very nice. A lot of people are wounded, but that's easy to deal with. You are wounded and Johnson is slightly wounded. Might as well take the time now to get people healed up. Only takes a second. There we go. Do need a little bit more power to get things online constantly, and we did pick up a lot of scraps. So let's pick up a bar of shields and one bar of power. That way I can depower my engines to power up the shields if I need it. And at this point, you know, we're doing really well with boarding, so I do feel like as long as we can keep our defenses online, we're in a good position. They will probably board us, which is fine. So let's get the shields powered up to max. They have no um, med bay or anything on their own, on their ship. They're attacking our drone system, which is going to be easy to deal with. Just kind of send everyone in there. Now they went into the piloting room, oddly enough. So everyone get back to your rooms, uh, except for Notch. Notch can come in there and help. We can board them, but we need power. We, I mean, we gotta board them. So let's put one power into the engine so we can dodge, we'll board them. We should be able to kill a couple of humans with mantises. 
And hopefully we can dodge at least one of these shots. Hey, we did. Or at least they missed with enough of their shots that it didn't matter. I should also, um... Actually, I'm, I'm out of power, so I can't really do anything like that. We did get hit for one point in the oxygen room, but that's easy to fix. Their crew members are mostly dead. We can kill them with the mantises, no problem. We do need to leave. We we gotta we gotta go. We're gonna we're gonna get hit here by this uh, shot coming in. So let's try to wait for as long as we can and then go. Kind of had to do it like that, unfortunately. We won't be ready for a uh, bit of combat if it happens, but they're only boarding us in the med bay with one person. Now they're in the teleporter room as well. Uh, this should be a pretty easy encounter, all things considered. Like, I should just be able to, like, send the humans in there and deal with them. Send, send the mantises in there. No, send the, send, okay, send the humans here. Send the mantises in there. Send the humans into the med bay. Mantises will be fine for a second. Once everyone's in here, then we can send uh, the humans in to deal with those people. No, no, mantis go, go out. Humans go in, mantises go into the med bay. This is a, this is a screwed up situation. You go here, you go there, you go there. There we go. Now the humans can deal with those humans while the mantises get healed up, and once they, uh, they get healed up, they can just walk in and finish the job, get some more combat experience. Good, do that right now. You gotta leave too. Oh, it's because the other rock man's in there. That's why I can't do the moving people in and out of the med bay thing that I'm trying to do. That's fine. They're dead. Humans, get out. Mantises, get in. Get everyone healed up. Ship is fully repaired. I have power. Oxygen. Good. Beacon distress. And then we'll go up. Pulsar. Ooh, Pulsar! Pulsar is interesting. This is a very interesting fight. Uh, this actually might be a fight where we get the um, chain laser powered up. Why? Because their shields are going to go down as soon as the Pulsar hits. I can shoot their med bay and then beam over into like the oxygen room to deal damage to them. Now, they do have a bunch of lasers. Lasers are definitely going to be a bit of a problem. They also have a beam drone that's going to do a lot of damage to us. But there's not much I can do about that beam drone. Uh, what I can do is... <sighs> wait. That's what I can do. Wait for my charge laser. Wait for their lasers to hit. They will miss. Or, you know, bounce off of our shields. Then I power up the teleporter. I get ready to teleport over. Chain laser is ready to fire. Their shields are now completely down. So now I fire on their med bay. It only wounded the med bay because it didn't hit properly, but that's fine that it's wounded. I am going to board them. Yes, we're going to try this. This might be very dangerous because our crew members might get kind of screwed up, screwed over a little bit. But let's board them in the weapons room. They're going to try to repair the med bay. Hopefully I can land one more shot in there. Might as well move my power around to hopefully dodge some shots. Shields did get hit a little bit. Our shields are going to go down now. Yeah, our shields are now down. The beam drone is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Their med bay is now destroyed, so I can send my crew in there to deal with it. Beam drone is going to do a lot of damage to us. we got to get the shields back online if we can, or kill the enemy crew if we can. Oxygen system is on fire. Door system is on fire. Uh, this sucks. This is a bad situation we've got here. Screw the shields. Okay, we, we won the encounter. Everyone's back on board. We can, we can recover from this, it's fine. Get the rock people into the oxygen room to get it repaired. That's basically what this boils down to. Uh, we need to get the other fire out ASAP as well. Controlling the fire, biggest priority right now. Med bay is offline. Get the door systems powered up so that I can actually open doors. Good. The fire's been contained. It's not gonna spread anymore. Oxygen's back online. People are healed. Things are getting repaired. Good, 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 good. And who cares about the Pulsar right now? We can we can afford to spend some time 
uh, healing. Is everyone healed up? Everyone except for Vincent. So Vincent's gonna get healed up. Shields, I'm just gonna depower to one bar so that they're offline for uh, less amount of time. Forgot to actually get the uh, sensors repaired fully when I moved Vincent out of the room. My bad. FTL drive is charging. Rough encounter with the Pulsar. It took our shields completely offline after a, a couple of volleys, but luckily we were able to take the enemy's uh, medbay offline so that we could uh, get in there and actually kill them. 